fellowship together to worship and just to rejoice with some special music and a little presentation by the children. And so we, we welcome you and we pray that you'll be blessed tonight by everything that we say and do. Let's go before the Lord with a word of prayer and then we'll begin tonight's service. Father in heaven, we rejoice not just on this day, this weekend. Every day, Lord, is a day for us to rejoice in the gift from heaven of a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. What, what minds can even comprehend the wonders of such grace and love that you would send your only begotten Son into this world to redeem us from our sins? And so we love you, Lord, because you first loved us, and you've, in your mercy and grace, you've drawn us to yourself. Now we pray that you'd be glorified tonight, that you'd be exalted and honored, that you would edify your people. We love you, Lord, and give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's begin tonight singing familiar Christmas carols. Oh, come all ye faithful. We're not going to put up the overheads. If you want to look at the hymn book, you can on page... 249.
It didn't take me long to mess up the program. <laughs> Dwight, come on up and read the scripture. For me. Right. Turn with me to Micah, chapter 5, starting at verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth are from of old, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until the time that she, she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock. In the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide, for now he shall be great, and to the ends of the earth, and this one shall be peace. Abigail, come on up. Abigail, Benjamin, and I are going to do a song.
ukulele. We'll be reading our scripture out of Luke 2, the first 14 uh, verses. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in, and in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, 
keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news, of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he pleased.
just, having grown up listen, listening to, oh man. <laughs> now she's really just, yeah. I don't have a big enough mouth. Listening to what? <laughs> <laughs> having grown up listening to Handel's Messiah, uh, I'm thankful for my mom who, uh, she had a Pennsylvania Dutch background, but really enjoyed the classical music. And anyway, um, I'm sure you're all familiar with Handel's Messiah. It was originally um, composed by him as a work for Easter. There's three parts. Um, part one, which is the Christmas part, um, is deals with um, the virgin birth and the prophets foretelling uh, the Messiah's com coming. Uh, the Messiah has remained one of the composer's most beloved works. Incredibly, Handel completed this 260-page oratorio, if you can see that thickness, it's, it's amazing, in 24 days. During the summer of 1741, the scriptural text was compiled by Charles Jennings with the source being the King James Bible. The first performance of Messiah was on the 13th of April, 1742, to celebrate Easter. There are two instrumental numbers, the opening uh, symphony and then the pastoral PIFA, it's called, often called the pastoral symphony, which I will attempt to play at the midpoint of part one. In part one, the Messiah is coming, and of course the virgin birth are predicted. The uh, PIFA, or the pastor pastoral symphony, interlude introduces the shepherds with the title of the piece being derived from the shepherds who played in the streets of Rome at Christmas. At the end of, I found this very interesting, at the very end of his 260-page uh, manuscript, Handel penned the letters SDG, Soli del Deo Gloria, to God alone the glory. <laughs>
this church is blessed with such a variety of, of music. We go from uh, ukuleles to guitars, classical to say country to uh, music is awesome, awesome evidence in my opinion of the being of God, the glory of God to inspire such a variety of wonderful works of art um, and it's a blessing to be part of this fellowship and to, it's just great so I pray that you've been blessed tonight uh, we're going to be hearing more that I don't think the walls can handle organ sound we don't, <laughs> think, we don't think we've ever had an organ but I certainly like it Becca and I are going to um, do one of my favorite songs she asked if we could do it this year and of course I said yes um, I wasn't going to sing it, but we'll try to sing it. I don't have the words for you, but Beautiful Star of Bethlehem. Sammy likes this one. <laughs>
<laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One more song. We're going to have this, the candlelight. Elam's going to join me. And we're going to uh, do Silent Night with a little harmonica. Can't end the night without some harmonica. <laughs> instrumental.
my God, we honor you tonight. Again, Lord, we want to thank you for so many expressions of your grace and your love. Music, Lord, used properly, is just a wonderful expression of, of you, your glory. You've inspired so many great works of art, so many wonderful songs to express your praise. No one else, nothing else has ever done so. We're grateful to be here tonight to sing your praises and to share the wondrous story, the gospel of our salvation. Bless the remainder of our time, fathers. We have fellowship and we look forward to gathering to, tomorrow, Lord, on the Lord's Day, to remember, to celebrate, to give thanks and praise to you. Bless us. Bless each family represented here tonight. Bless this church. We might continue to bear forth a, a witness truth of your gospel the lost a dying world Jesus Christ is the only hope for mankind our Lord and Savior so we thank you again for this night bless our fellowship time O oh Lord and just minister your grace to each one we thank you in Jesus holy and wonderful name Amen Amen, Amen. So that concludes our service and we're going to have a time of some fellowship there in the back so please stay and uh, enjoy yourselves God bless. Good job, brother. I can do it enough.